things for Leo. And placements of the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see how you guys felt about this person or the relationship, either one. How did Leo feel about this person? Okay. Now we one to come. Let's see what this one is too. The high priestess. Very secretive, very mysterious. That Piscean energy. Queen of Chalice is very loving though. Very loving. I feel like this person is not um, overly emotional. Uh, they don't just blurt out things. They don't just blurt out I love yous. They may um, show you more so by what they do for you. I feel like you guys have this unspoken uh, language that you do. Both of you know that you care about each other and you don't necessarily have to say it all the time is what I'm getting from this, okay? Again, Cancer Pisces energy here. That's how you felt about them. I think that's how you still feel about this person. Um, very motherly. How does this person feel about Leo? Five of Cups. I feel like this person misses you. I feel like they have a lot of regrets where you guys are concerned. Um, now, for some of you, this could definitely be your mother that is showing up in the reading, but um, primarily I, I do like intimate relationships, but sometimes children show up, parents show up. Um, so for some of you, this is, this is a mother that I feel like did not tell you all the time that she cared for you, that she loved you, um, but she was there for you, how she knew how to be, you know. But for most of you, this is, this is somebody that uh, behaved the same way as your mother would. They, were, they cared for you, but it wasn't like um, they were overly affectionate or anything like that. I don't feel. I feel like this person was more um, hands-on with you guys. Okay, now this person does have a lot of regrets about how they handle things with you before. Um, they feel like there are some areas that they could have improved upon with you guys. I feel like this person definitely misses you and um, they want you around. <clears throat> What's currently going on with my Leo's? The Scorpio energy here with the Five of Cups. What's currently going on with my Leo's? The world. You guys are going through some changes, some some major shifts in your life. Um, the world is a major arcana. So is a high priestess. I feel that um, you've dealt with a lot of shit in your past. But... Everything that you dealt with, there was a lesson to be taken out of it. And I feel that um, your eyes are opening up. I feel like you're ready to start a new chapter in your life at this point. The energy is Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, with the world. That's Saturn energy. The planet of karma. Okay. What's currently going on with the other person? The tower. There's some shit breaking down. There's a strong Scorpio energy in your reading. Um, this person may like really have had a breakdown, an emotional breakdown, um, or they got involved in another situation where they have just like broken up with someone. Uh, maybe they moved on from you and. They are just really, like, going through a tough time right now. Uh, this person could also have just um, moved. They could have had a loss as well. But there's something that's really, like, shaking them right now, and they're not in a good spot, okay? They are definitely not in a good spot at this point. <clears throat> What's influencing my Leo strong Scorpio here? 
when I see my Leos, okay, those cards want to come out, but they're doing something funky. So for when I see my Leos, the Knight of Swords, I feel like you are in the midst of something, but you know that you are. You know you are quite aware of what's going on right now. You are taking inventory of, of all the situations in your life. And I feel like you're ready to take what it is that you have learned thus far and do something with it. I feel like a lot of you guys are wanting to vocalize something to someone. And maybe you have already. Maybe you have told somebody a piece of your mind. Maybe you have told them exactly how they made you feel. Opening up and saying exactly what it is that you need to say and not holding back. That's that Aquarius energy there with the Knight of Swords. What's influencing the other person? Two of Cups. This person loves you. They love you. They are in love with you. This is Cancer energy. They feel like you guys are their soulmate. I'm definitely getting a mistake here. Somebody's really missing you. Um, and they're not doing they're not doing good at this point. At this point in time, okay? Mm. What's coming in for Leo's? Ace of Wands. This is you starting over. This is you starting over, possibly dating. Um, there may have been somebody else that has sparked an interest for you. Somebody that you feel very sexually attracted to. Um, but this is you having that initial spark to do something different than what you have been doing here, okay? That very fiery energy. What's coming in for... Yeah, what's coming in for you yeah. Queen of Cups. I feel like this person's ready to give. Um, they are gonna have to go through this this um, this stage of healing, though. But I'm definitely getting this person is ready to give. If they held back before, I feel like this person is is coming to offer something. They are coming out. Hold on one second, guys. The only thing that I noticed, though, is that they're a different Queen of Cups than they were before with you. They will be. Um, I feel like before, they really did not have any kind of agenda or motive. I feel like this person, if they come towards you, there's going to be... Um, an agenda and a, a motive, um, a more uh, seductive energy, more sexual energy. Because I, I think there's some kind of plan that um, they're cooking up. Uh, this person really, really loves you, and I feel like they would do anything to get you back. They will do anything to get you back. Okay, and this is not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, this is definitely what I see. And I don't know really what that entails. I don't know if they're, um, I don't know. I, I feel like they really miss you and they would do anything to get you back. That's, that's just what I'm hearing here. What can Leo expect from this person? What can he expect from this person? King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They're going to be a little more calculating. They're going to be a little more in control. I feel like this person is planning something. Um, and and they're, they're thinking more about their head. Like, what can I do? 
um, and, and how do I need to do it? How do I need to come across? How do I need to present myself? Do I need to be more sexual? You know, I think it's, it's before it was coming from a more genuine place. This is really how they were. But there's something about them in the near future that is a little more calculating because they really want to get you and they want to keep you. So they feel like they need to do something a little differently than what they did before. Okay. And I don't know if it's good or bad, to be honest with you. I just know it's different. They're different. Okay. What can this person expect from Leo? What can they expect from Leo's? Ace of Wands. Hmm. To give it a chance. For you guys to be attracted to them. For you to want to start over. Okay, both of you have that Ace of Wands there. That fire energy. That initial spark. To get things off the ground. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.